Hello everyone. Very good afternoon to all the lovely audience standing here. So this is Arpita and I feel very honored to stand amidst you. So today I would like to start off with my personal story. So dividing it into two to make it very simpler. Before my 10th class and after my 10th class and what changed. So I was a person who was able to memorize things very well. I was a very active child. But however, when it came to academics, I was a little neglectful because I was not understanding the concepts right. For example, in my sixth standard, when my teacher started teaching me algebra, and they said plus x would go to the other side to become minus x, I stood up, I asked my teacher, if I was standing in this room, I am Arpita. If I go to the other room, I don't become minus Arpita. So how is x doing that? I know it's a very silly question, but I had no teacher answer me that way. So the doubt kept going. In return, I just got my teacher asking me whether I've listened to classes or not. So I never asked a question after that. So from my sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and even in my 10th standard, I didn't have an answer to that question. And in fact, that resulted in how I was performing and how I was scoring. Time flew away, and I had just had two months before my final exams, which actually means time for pre-finals. I got in my results. All the subjects other than biology, I was scoring less than 45 for 100. My mother being an educationist herself, she was in the parents' teachers meeting. And all the teachers could tell my parents was bring her into tuitions. And if she struggles hard from now, she'll be able to pass. My mom brought me home, made me sit and asked me one question. What do you think you want to do? I do not want you to fail. I want you to pass with flying colors. What do you want to do? And then I asked my mom, I do not want to go to school. Give me all the textbooks and I'll study at home. So my mom did that for me. She went to the college uh, school. She asked the principal if I could get permission. I got in the permission. I sat at home. YouTube was my uh, teacher. My mom was my guide. My dad was my motivator. I studied for the two months. Everything by myself. My mom was there by my side. My parents were always there. Tenth results came in. I scored state second rank. That was a wonder for my entire school. And now I was scared, maybe this happened by fluke. What will I do in my intermediate? And surprisingly, even in my intermediate, I was able to do great. After that, I got into my undergraduation in BTech, Computer Sciences, Artificial Intelligence. Post that, I got into my master's in human resources, scored a great job into a good big four MNCs. And now, here as an exhibitor amongst all of you, I've launched Manso Technologies and Didac itself. So if you look at the entire journey, how I was before class 10 and after class 10, it is a big change in my life. Now talking about what has actually changed brings me to my topic, which is valuing the voice of a child, which is what my parents have done. So I do not know what could have happened in any other situation, but when I heard from my teachers telling that she has to be in tuitions all the time after school and only then she'll pass, I thought that is what my parents would do. I never thought my mom would come and ask me. And even if she came and asked me, I never thought she would let me do what I wanted to do. If she had put me in all-time tuition, full-time tuitions, I do not know where I would have landed. But the reason behind all of this is what I believe is the value that my mother has given and my father has given to the voice that I wanted to approach. So there, I learned few things that I still implement in my life. Talking about the things that I implemented, number one, to take calculated risks. Taking risks is bad sometimes, but to understand what are the pros and cons and how you handle cons is also important. Nextly, handling negativity, negativity and also dealing with it positively. So many of the internships, I was a person who was very exploratory in nature. So I, have, I wanted to do my undergrad in tech, post that I went to managerial, and now I'm doing my startup. So I've explored different segments. So, and that's the third thing that I want to come into. Do not be afraid of exploring because the world is full of opportunities and you do not know which pot is yours. So I want to suggest everyone, not only school kids, if you're dealing with children, if you're do, dealing with universities, if you're dealing with our own selves, I would request all of you to try this once where you can give your, yourself a chance where you value your voice explore everything that comes your way because I've 
even though I've done uh, HR in my masters, I've interned with 20 plus companies across the fields of sales, finance, marketing, and HR. And that also backfired sometimes. I was in an interview, and the interviewer asked me, Arpita, I see that you've done BTEC, and then you came to HR, and then you've done sales internship, you've done finance internship. I don't see consistency. Now that's negativity hitting me right in the interview. So I've handled it positively. I, I wanted to do all those internships, not for the sake of it. So my answer to them was, HR being the heart of the company, who deals with all the other departments, need to know how they're functioning. Rather than reading books, I preferred being in person and learning about what that department is. So it's all about handling any negativity that hits you in a positive way. With that, I would like to conclude my talk and would encourage everybody to value your own voice. Thank you so much.